Rachel with Direct Performance Physical Therapy and this is our yoga and core video. It's a little bit of a yoga flow, a little bit of an abdominal exercise, and a little bit of recovery. And we're gonna get started, so join us. Fantastic, we're gonna get down um, into a plank position. So to do that, we're gonna do it the yoga way. So you'll inhale, tall, and then exhale all the way down. Inhale to get long. This time we're gonna step your left foot back. So left foot steps all the way back. Some big obnoxious step into a lunge. And then you'll take your right foot back. We have the time. So we're gonna come halfway down into Chaturanga. And then do it again. Halfway down Chaturanga. Push back up. And halfway down. And then come back up into Cobra. We're in Cobra. We're upward facing dog. You just bring your thighs off the mat, that becomes upward facing dog. And then I want you to push back onto your knees. So we've got, we're gonna start a little plank series here and you are welcome to do it from your knees. That is a great modification. So everything we're doing can be done from your knees. Please just make sure that you keep a nice straight line from your knee to the top of your head. Um, and I recommend that you put your toes on the floor. Sometimes when we bring our heels up, we have this tendency to take your tasty booty back and you don't want to do that, so We are all going to stay on our knees for this first part though, and you're going to turn to your left side. So I'm going knee, hip, shoulder, my head are in a nice long line. I prefer to be on my elbow for this, so I'm going to drop all the way down to my elbow. If you like to be higher, that's up to you. So for this first one, we are going to do a clamshell. I'm staying up high on my knee and then I'm just opening my top knee to the side. I'm keeping my hips square and I'm just using my glute to just open to the side. You're working on keeping your hip lifted really high. If you start feeling yourself sag, pause and pick your hip back up or take a rest. It's fine. You don't have to do all 2,000 of these with no stops. Okay, 10. We'll do two more. Are you counting? I'm not. Okay. Good. Move on. We're staying on our side. This is the point where you can either make the decision to stay on your knee or you could come all the way up onto your side to do a side plank. Um, making it a little bit less challenging would be to just put one foot in front of the other. So there's a couple different modifiers for you there. But we're going to start by just doing some abduction. We're taking our heel out to the side. And you're just lifting, you're just trying to stay in a nice straight plank, lifting out to the side. And then now we're going to add a march. So we're going to go up, flare your knee in a march, take it out, and what do I got? And then bring it up, and then march, and out, and back down, up, and in, out, and down. Let's do two more. I'm falling, don't do that. Up, in, Good. and now we're going to turn to the front and we're going to start just a little bit of a pike. So my elbows are right underneath my shoulders and I'm just going to start by piking my um, glute up and then taking it back down. As you're doing this, you need to think about like tightening your core, keeping your hips up, and then back down to a plank. And then lift, and back down. I am like sucking my belly button to my spine. As I lift, good. Let's do two more. If you're not doing this perfectly, don't worry. We're gonna like totally do it again on the other side. So you're gonna be a professional by the end. From here, you're gonna walk up onto your hands. We're doing a high plank. And then we're going to start just a little knee to elbow. We'll progress it slowly. So I want you to take your right knee to your right elbow. Just a couple of times holding a solid plank. Again, if you need to drop down to your knees, that's perfectly fine. I mean, they're okay. They know that more. And then I want you to take it across your opposite elbow. And then all the way down. Nice stretch in your abs here. 
And then you're gonna turn your toes under and go downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high. As you step your right foot next to your right thumb into lunge on the other side. And then you'll step forward. Inhale, get long. And then exhale, sit back in your cute little chair. Perfect, stand all the way up. And let's switch sides. You're gonna exhale all the way down. You're gonna take your left foot back. Big, giant, obnoxious step back. And then hands come down to the floor and you're gonna step your right leg back to meet your left. We're doing all that on the other side. Again, we're gonna come down to our knees to start everybody. And then down to our elbow as we shift to the side to start those clams on the other side. So again, making sure I'm really lifting up through this bottom oblique, my right side, I'm really pushing my rib cage away from my arm. And then I'm just like opening. We call this a super clam. But you're super, I don't know, super clam. Let's do like two more. Good, and then you can stay on your side, on your knee, or you can push up to your toes. And we're gonna start that little side abduction. So again, really pushing the floor away, keeping locked in your core. Good, from here we're gonna take it up. And then bringing it in a march, out straight and back down. Up, why am I doing that? Don't do that. Up, march, take it out, back down. Up, march, out, back down. Two more. Up, march, out, back down. Up, march, out, back down. Perfect, we're gonna turn to the front and then we're coming into that pike position again. So elbows right underneath your shoulders and then sucking your belly button in as you take a little pike here. So lift. You could get really fancy with these if you're feeling rowdy and put some slouders underneath your feet or like a, a towel and work on sliding your legs in. That'd be fancy. Two more, who's counting? Are you counting? Okay, one more. Good, and then you're gonna come all the way up onto your hands. And we're gonna start with your left knee to your left elbow. Real high, towards your elbow. Keeping your core locked in. My hips are staying square to the floor. So I'm working really hard to make sure that I'm staying real solid core here. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Just as close as you can. One more. Good, from here you're gonna come all the way down and then upward facing dog. Take a second to stretch. Look, get lazy, put your leg on the floor. Turn your toes under, push back our facing dog. Take a second to let everything open. And then you're gonna reach your left leg long behind you and step it up next to your left thumb. You're gonna inhale as you push forward and then take an exhale as you stretch. Put your wings on, inhale all the way up and exhale down. You're going to Step your left leg back, and then the right leg meets it. Halfway down, chaturanga. This feels like deja vu, doesn't it? You're just gonna sort of flip your body over your body and sit down. So you're seated now. So we, you're gonna kind of walk yourself um, forward on the mat so that you have plenty of room behind you because we're gonna lay back here in a second. We're gonna start with a Pilates roll up. So you're gonna start by sitting really tall and then you're gonna take out your zombie arms. It's good practice for when you're a zombie. And then you're gonna take your spine back. So I want you to pretend like someone is pulling you from the middle, 
pulling your spine back behind you. So you're making a little C. You're going to roll all the way down toward the floor. You're going to inhale as you sweep your arms back. And then you're going to exhale as you roll yourself all the way up. And then over. It's just a good opportunity to stretch you. So like take it all the way forward. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, roll back. We could do fancy arms. Inhale your arms around. And then exhale all the way up. You can make weird zombie noises if you want to. Inhale, get tall. Breathe on. And then all the way up. And then all the way back up to seated. Let's do two more. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale around. And then exhale as you come all the way up. We're gonna do one more. Look at me, I'm like scooching back. I'm just gonna scooch forward. Look, that's all you have to do. If you're leaving, just come back. Come back. Inhale down. Exhale, roll all the way down. Inhale around. And then exhale all the way up. Perfect. From here, you're gonna roll all the way down onto your back, and then you're gonna start my favorite thing on the whole earth. We're gonna do some hollow holds. So you're gonna take this little scoop out of your spine by putting your back flat on the floor, and then you're just gonna reach your arms and leg long. I'm becoming a little, a banana. A banana. And then if you like, you can just start to rock it a little bit. Let's rock 10 times. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then you hold. And then do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. My voice keeps getting higher than you hold. And then you're gonna bring your knees in, right underneath you. And then you're gonna bend your knees at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna take my hands off the floor. Um, if you need some help, you can put your hands down just a bit, but remember that any pressure you put on the floor um, is just taking this away from your core and sort of utilizing your upper body. So you're gonna work toward using your core as much as possible. So you're gonna take your legs out, and then you're gonna bring them up, and then just like a little lift here. And then out, and then up, lift, out, lift. It's like your two favorite things, leg raises and reverse crunches at the same time. You love it. Now let's do one more. I'm just lifting my hips up off the floor. And then from here, you're gonna put your hands behind your head. And you could have been doing that the whole time, I'm sorry. If your head is full of your big, super smart brain, you can hold on your head whenever you want to. So we're gonna go slow, slow, let's go quick. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll go slow for ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go fast. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, perfect. Bring your knees in, and then you're just gonna roll yourself all the way up to seated. Sit all the way up on your sit bones. You kind of scooch around and get your sit bones right up underneath you. And then you're gonna put your arms out, kind of hard, like get real strong in your upper body, push your chest forward, and then you're gonna take your legs up. Oh, don't do that, I'm gonna start over. So, I'm gonna sit all the way up get myself right on top of my sit bones. I'm gonna need to like scooch around to sort of get the bones of my pelvis right underneath me. I'm gonna put my arms out really hard. It's gonna help stabilize my core. My chest is pulling forward and then you're just gonna put your legs up. Oh, oh, your favorite. And we'll just hold it for like 15 minutes. I'm just kidding, not really. Bring your knees in. And you rest and we'll do it again. Like one million times. And then you bring in your rest. And we'll do it once more. Three's like your favorite number. Go. If you're shaking a little bit, it's okay. I'm shaking a little bit, it's fine. And then from here, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest. And then you're just gonna roll all the way down toward the floor. Bring your knees in. All the way up to seated, however you gotta get there. And a couple of big deep breaths and you're all done.